said, we said criteria number one, guys, that we should be doing for this point is number one as uh, branch circuit, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, 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 fifte
Now, if you want to place it in the center of the room, guys, one way of placing it in the center of the room, I told a couple of you, is to go home and grab a line and just cross-crossing it. Uh, where am I here? Uh, let me turn my um, snap on. And uh, grab, I turn my snap on, I grab the corner here and the other corner just to a central uh, and put it here and um, come over here again, enter, grab another line, trying to find the center of that room so I can throw a, a fixture right in the middle of it. And here you go. Okay, so here's my center of my room here. Um, so what I need to do next, I can grab that fixture. Oops, if I can get to it. There you go, that fixture, right click and move it. Move, move the center of it and stick it. Do you see what I did, guys? I create a, so I create a, a diagonals of the room. Wherever they cross, that will be the center of my room. That's where you put your fan. That's as easy as I went right here, guys, on the lines, and I cross them. I don't want this one. I, oops, and um, and I found, oops, I found my one more here, and grab it. There you go, and uh, right into this corner, and that's how I found my, the center of my fixture. Any question, guys, about this? Finding a center of fixture. If you want to find a center of a, of a room and you place them, guys, you can cut, you can continue to cut your areas into squares or rectangles and put the fixture right into the middle of the square rectangle. Like in this room right here, if you want to make um, make cans, I, I think I did it with one of you guys, you can, um, you can cross this. So if I want to put multiple cans here, I grab this one. And, and and you would never do that one, guys, in a real project because all these are going to be done for you, honestly. So you're going to go repeat the line and come, say, from right here. And uh, uh, here's a... Uh, and remember what, what happened, Jamie, is then you can get rid of them. Here's my three... Here's my... Uh, I cut this one into three... Uh, four quarters, right? Then if I can... Um, then I can, if I want to put one fan, one can here, one can here, one can here, recess, one can here, or I can cut them again into half and find the center of this area, the center of this area, and put one can, one can, one. So you can keep crossing them and to find the center of these, um, these areas to put them together. If you want to put cans, can you guys give your thumbs up and say if you want to put cans, recess cans, space them four to five feet on center four to five feet on center that will give you a good light if you was basing recess cans surface mounted fixtures one in the middle done you know I mean recess cans if you want to put you're going to go fancy in the living room for example you're going to put uh, you're going to put kitchen so i cross this one into multiple areas here um if i grab this and i want to put my ortho on and go this way see i'm cutting it into one area here um and grabbing and cutting it so i cut this one into one area so now if i um if i grab my um my ortho here so i'm cutting this one so i can put my cans guys in the middle of center of my cans okay here see how it crossed it now if i now if i put look what i did if i came from here and grab it um let me ortho off ortho off and grab it can you guys see that now i got the center of this square can everybody look at this now i grab a square and i grab a fixture here's my ceiling so i'm going to use a can where's my can um okay so i have an incandescent recess so here's an incandescent recess and you grab it right in here bam you got yourself one right in the center of this square and if you make another cross right here, you can put that one right there. And then you measure the distance between them and you might have to move them to adjust. Carrie, let me tell you the good news is, the good news guys, when we have visual, we don't have to do that. Because visuals base them based on the criteria for you and come perfect, almost perfect. You might have to shift them slightly to match your grid, if you have a grid, okay? Can you have thumbs up, Chad? We know how to cross, cross that one and find kind of the center. What I suggest, guys, if you want to put cans, what I suggest, 
Okay, a couple of things. Number one, in the bedroom, you have fans. So a fan, lighting fixture in the combo, I think it's good enough. Um, if you want to go in the living room, I'm, I'm asking only for one light surface mounted. A better design is to put a couple of cans, like I said here. So you can put a can, one, two here, three, four, four cans over here. And you might have to put one can in, and one fan in the middle right here with four cans around it. That's a good design with two switches to control them. In the kitchen, it's a good idea, guys, to put um, to put a fan. We didn't ask for a fan in the kitchen, but you can put a couple of cans, like four cans in the kitchen, um, and control them from two switches. Um, so that's basically about it in terms of the hallway. Here's a hallway here. Where's my hallway? A hallway, it's a good idea to throw a can, a light for the hallway. A bathroom, uh, remember, did you guys put a fan, an exhaust fan, light combo? or just a fan only. If you want a, a fan, exhaust fan combo, then you have to grab one and put it right in this bathroom and that will be your light only. If you want to put light above the sink here, there's a couple of options to put light above the sink. So I'm going to let you guys putz around with that. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of cans and go switch them though. So um, I bought my can right here and for the sake of the argument, then I can go delete these. There you go. I'm going to grab this one. Um, um, I'm going to grab these, delete these, and this. So remember, we just place all this one to get us uh, orient us a little bit. So without orientation, I'm going to go grab a couple of fixtures, guys. Ceiling mounted, incandescent recessed, and I'm going to come from here, and I'm going to uh, drop one here and um drop uh, repeat and we'll drop another one right in here and right in here okay and i care less about the placing them because at this time i'm just throwing them for the for the sake of uh of, of circuiting okay i have my fixtures i want to remind you guys look at the if you if you go to if we're working on E, which is, is this one E, E6. E6, in my case, the upper level, uh, I'm on E6 is the upper level. If you guys go work on the upper level, it might be a better idea to work on the upper level. Then everybody knows why if you go to the E6, then anything power will disappear. Remember the power stuff that you did will disappear here. I have home runs here that show on that coming from the power. So make sure, here's my lights, and then I'm going to go circuit them, piece of cake. Remember, I'm going to have a switch, though. So I grab this. Uh, where's my switch? Snap switches should be a snap switch somewhere here. Single pole switch. Here's my single pole switch. And for these, I'm going to switch them. I'm just going to drop it here. And I'm going to orient it and uh, rotate it, grab from here, and... Um, put my ortho on and just put it right here and drag it and put my switch right when you put switches can i guys get you to when you put switches you always want to put them in the area where the door does not swing everybody knows why right you don't want to cover your switches so here's one switch here to switch these lights uh do i have a three-way switch i thought i had a three-way symbol of a three-way switch uh weatherproof switch so I so here's my switch. Oh, now you're gonna go bring the home run and circuit it, basically. Um, is it the top? Uh, down a little bit. Okay. Here's a three-way switch. Let's just do a three-way switch in this area. It's a good idea. So I'm gonna go grab this one, rotate that boy, drag it from here. Um, there you go. I wanna move this one away. I don't want it. I just want it here. Drag this, and I'm gonna put this one here. Oops. Um, all right, so here's my three-way switch here. Uh, Sam, take, take this one, guys, copy it. Uh, copy selection, uh, right-click, right, -click, right uh, paste selection. Where's my um, input? Did I paste it? Okay, clip, paste it. Did it, oh, not this one. Okay, I copied something different. Um, so we're gonna go 
um, here clip copy and you're gonna go I'm just gonna go put another switch here my friends clip past that here's my switch here orient it and you guys will do the rest uh, with it start from here <coughs> did I uh, click move yeah. oh thank you bud with it there you go okay Here's my three-way switch. I'm going to drag it from here and put my three-way switch right in here. And you guys can adjust it to scale and all this good stuff. Um, so here's my three-way switches. Now here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go a loop them. So I'm going to start, when you do three-way switches, you're going to go, let's get out of the ortho here and uh, do spaghetti. Come here. Oops, I didn't do a loop. Um, uh, three point arc, arc, three point arc. Take the three point arc here, grab this one, arc them, and or you can continue with your arc. You go from one to the other, to the third, and um, all the way to the switch. I'm just going to show the switch here, and you guys will do the rest. Grab from here, here, and and put it here, and then I would come, um, arc again. And from this area, come to here. Oops, that's a big arc. I didn't put my three points. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to finish that one and let you guys pass around, take the time to do it. Here, go click here, click here, right click, arc it, um, click here, click here, and click here. Okay. Can I have thumbs up, guys? We know how, how the whole circuiting business is. Okay, so now you circuit these. One way of circuiting them. I want to remind you that you need to be able to, to do that. Now, where am I going to bring my home run? Um, for the home run, by the way, remember we created a home run for the power? Turn the power on here. Copy the home run. Name it. Put it on. Oh, by the way, which layer am I using? Look at that. I'm using right now an e-power wiring. So since I need, uh, I'm on lighting, I'm going to go, um, it doesn't bother me, guys, to use E-Lite um, e wiring. Here you go. E-Lite wiring. So you need to switch all these into a different wiring. Why? Because it's not going to show up except in this area. So click on that and E-Lite wiring. There you go. Make sure you switch them all to the right layer. Why? Because it's going to... Now it's not going to show when I go to power. It's showing here and go to power. So if I go here and, oops, click on that. And um, e-lighting, and I'm going to go freeze e-lighting, thaw that one in this area. Now it disappears from the, everybody knows how to thaw the layers. So you have to put it in the right layer so you can thaw them on the power. Zach, does it make sense? No confusing? Okay, so you have to thaw them in the right layer. So we're in E5. Now they show only in E6 because E6 is where they should be. Okay, the last thing you need to do, here's a home run that guys from the power. The first thing I would do if I were you, I'll take this home run that's already done in the power, right click on it, copy it, copy it, and right click on it, paste it. Um, where's my paste here? Paste. And I'm going to just put it right in here. And then I'm going to change it though into a different layer. Uh, I'm going to turn it from E power wiring into guess what? E light. There you go. And the same thing with that boy here, E power. So when I turn him on and off, E light. Okay. So here's my new branch circuit for light, the home run for light. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We know how to do that. Now, where am I going to bring my home run? That's where you're going to be very creative. Here's my home run. Am I going to bring it to? Um, it depends. So I have one, two, three, four cans here. I can, um, if I bring the home run, my panel is going to be right here. So if I bring my home run, right click move, um, grab from here, and I'm going to bring it right into the switch. So if I brought, I brought my home run to the switch, guys, right? Can you, everybody can see that? Now I need, how many conductors do I need here to make the system work? You need two for the three-way switch going right through. You need one neutral and one switched hot, four conductors. So that will be, do we have 12-4? Yep, done. 
12 4 and uh, not 12 4 uh, for um, 14 4 I'm going to click on this one and I need somebody to tell me why do I have that many conductors here can uh, can you guys see that I brought the home run here I have a three-way switch between the three-way switches you need dedicated how many conductors two you can't mess with them these are circuit cows two all right then you need a neutral why why neutral because these need neutral so here's another conductor a neutral then I need then I need so between actually three I don't need a switch hot here do I need a switch hot here only three conductors now let me take you to this part here and tell me how many conductors you need here now how many conductors you need here okay the two dedicated conductors between the three-way switches done Chad a switched hot coming back to this fixture right because this fixture have to be switched from the three-way switch here's the third one what is this fixture still need so a neutral this fixture got the neutral but this fixture also need a neutral so I have to pull the neutral back to these how many conductors do I need four this section here will be 14.4 and neutral two travelers and a switch hot anybody can tell me this section here what does this section have to be two right switch hot and hot can have some sub chat we know how to do that cool all right so that's basically what you guys are going to be doing um for fans for the fans guys you can put a fan right here they have a fan symbol or you can go grab another symbol that i'm going to show you in a second here all right, so right here, um, any comments about typical branch circuits before I go to the, the to the common area branch circuits? Any question about that? Okay, let's go, go to the common area. I want to remind you here, can you guys see this area here? This have, what I would, every landing, put a light on every landing. So here's a landing here, put one light here, one light here, and your friend downstairs this is the upper level is going to put one light on the landing downstairs can you guys see that one two three lights how am i going to switch them you have you have a bunch of options either you use three and four way switches one option that will be the cheapest so basically you put a three-way switch here a three-way switch uh, so you, you're going to put uh where am i here you're going to put a three-way switch here and a three-way switch right here and down downstream your partner is going to put another three-way so this will be a four-way switch so it will be a three-way switch so two three-way switch and one four-way switch on every level so people can walk in turn it on from three locations i suggest to do that or you can put in a timer switch with t next to it and put them in three locations so people can turn them on three a timer and it times for 50 minutes and turn it off auto um so that's basically yes sir could that be something that could be on the house panel yeah, this has to be on the house panel. On all the time. Another option, yes. You can't be on all the time. Another option. I like to have control because we're becoming tree huggers and all the stuff and instead of energy. Um, it's it's a good idea to keep, to have some type of control. Depends what type of windows here you have. I like to put them on the switches, so you're right. Can I put them on all the time? Yes. So it's a good idea to have some type of control over them. Arc sensors is another option. So I'm going to leave it up to you. Just put some type of control, okay? All right, so let me go to the other side. Can you guys see this area here? The same thing. You got This area, can you guys get you to this area? There's going to be two landing, two lights, and three-way switch at the top, three-way at the bottom. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We got that one? Cool. Let's go to this area. Um, the front. The front also need a fixture, guys. So I need a fixture for the front. Um, can you guys see the fixture here? So I'm going to go put a fixture. There is a symbol of a fixture that looks exactly like this. And how are we going to turn this fixture on? What I suggest this fixture will have specify it as motion detector, um, um, motion detector fixture and, and dust to dawn sensor on it so we'll turn on all night basically when people are moving if anybody moves there on all night so just no switch for it cool everybody's okay with that one i want to remind you every every area is going to have it so there's also another one here so you're going to grab this boy and put it right also here and also you're going to grab this boy and put it also right in here cool make sense with the right orientation 
with the right orientation. Okay, now the ones who are in the in the bottom, the bottom guys, uh, the ones who are on the lower level, um, are we in the lower level here, Chad? No, of course it has to be the wrong one when you open it. Okay, the one on the bottom level, um, the common area here, guys, you need a light with a switch here, right? Everybody knows that. And when you go to this area here, since those guys have a door, what do you guys expect this area to have? You have to have a light that looks like this with a switch, minimum, for the, to switch them from the inside. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We understand how to do the common lights. All your common lights are going to be fed from the common panel, the house panel. All the lights for every apartment outside and inside will be fed from the, that particular apartment. No more than 10 lights on one apartment. Be generous. Three circuits or four circuits, not bad. At least three circuits, two to three circuits for every apartment. The common area, you might have to put them in one or two circuits. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We understand fully how to do that. Exit lights. Now, exit lights, apartment like this size might not require exit lights because the exit is only one location, guys. Um, exit signs and exit lights. Um, what we have done in the past, let's do that one. But say it was a bigger, let's just say it might not qualify, but um, if... So where am I? In the lower level here, it's a good idea to put one exit light, and you guys have it right here, in the lower level, and in the upper level, so that will get you lit the whole area here. If you go to the upper level, oops, upper level, um, you can put them, you can put an exit light right, if you put an exit light right here, it will lit the whole area, and one underneath. Does that make sense? That will give you the egress path. What Joe's asking is, what happens if you lose power at night and people want to exit out of this building? This building have one entrance. I believe it doesn't qualify for exit lights, um, emergency exit lights. That's what we do for commercial building. But if it's a bigger building, you have to provide these. So let's go ahead and provide them anyway. So you're going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. And these will go on only if the power is turned off in the building. Cool? I think we have them, don't we? Um, we should have uh, the symbols for these um, right here, exit signs. And, and they have an exit with them too, an exit sign. So exit lights. And you know what? I might, you might have to put one right in here, actually right in this area because it will have the exit sign right at the top of it. So if you if you move this one here, we'll have the exit sign as well as the emergency light right here. And if you situate it right, it actually gives you enough light for all of them. So if you just put one at the bottom right here, it will shoot up and shoot down and will give you the eg exit sign that says exit and the egress light. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? One like this. And the same thing on every entrance, one right above the door should give you enough light to exit the building. Okay. Um, you might, I don't think I have, I have exit signs. I don't think we have, um, um, the bug guys, what we call, these are all exits. Yeah, you might have to make something similar to this one, guys. Um, unless I'm not looking deep. We didn't do it typically. We assume it's not required here. Okay, can you guys, is this enough to get you up and running? Can I have thumbs up, guys? Is that enough? Okay, that's awesome. Get you. Yeah. These are the exit signs that direct you to direct the traffic. Um, one by the door right there, exit sign. And the symbol, I, I don't see the symbol that we use, which is bug eyes like this. Why don't you guys make a little bit symbol like this and use it? And that will be your exit sign, egress light. When we do commercial guys, we have them all as families and we just drop them right there. They're built in families in Revit. Cool? Okay. For ceiling fan, for ceiling fan guys, 
Uh, I'm going to give you two options. I think there's one that says um, outlet fan or ceiling. Um, there's also, can I get you to do one little thing with me, please? Just one little thing. Uh, if you go, all of you, if you don't mind. Um, let's go to um, view. And when you come here, under view, can you guys see design center here? Design center, under view. Click design center. And I'm going to go, go load a ceiling fan symbol. Design center. And open. Uh, there's many ways of doing that one. And if you go to your, you should default to your area. And let me go back to my, my uh, project um, and CAD. Uh, electrical symbols. Oops. Where am I here? Why do I have lower? Okay. Can you guys see where it says uh, electrical symbol fan? Everybody can see that? When I went online and I went all the way to the project and I grabbed CAD electrical symbol fan. Okay. And here's, and if you load it, it will come up as just a fan here. Microsoft is not accessible. Why? Did you guys get the same message? Did we load it? You know what? That's another method of you're absolutely right. You can grab it and copy it um, from any location. I don't know why it's not allowing me to. Or maybe I ah oh, maybe I should bring it down to copy it and put it on my desktop. Because it did that one before. When we put it in my desktop, okay, let me just put it on my desktop. We're in the network here, past it on the desktop. Okay, back again. Okay, so let's go open it from desktop. And here's my symbol fan. And you guys can do it in any way, shape, or form. Here you go. Um, here's my symbol fan. What I would do, long story short, I put the block here, right click and create a palette for it. I know it's only nothing, create one palette. So we'll create a fan palette here for me. Did you guys create a palette for you? Okay, it's working on that. So create this symbol for you and then you can drop it in your, in your fixture. Let me see when it's done. Then you can drop it into your, uh, in your system. Okay. All right, so here's when um, here's what looks like when you, when it's done. Then you grab it and you drop it right in the middle of your fan in your rooms. So here's a symbol that you guys will use for your fan. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? That we know there's so many ways of getting it. Either you go copy paste it, or you you remember create a palette and it will have only one symbol in it, a lighting fixture. Now don't forget that the other fixtures symbols are here. Uh, Zach, see the. So you create basically another palette here. You can break as many palettes as you want. So this one will have only one fan. Any question for chat, guys? Is this enough information to get you up and running and rolling at least? Yes, no? Okay, let's do it. Uh, directional light. Uh, I don't think so. Um, four strip. I don't know if uh, four wall light. You can use any of these and rename. Remember, you can use any of these symbols that we. That would be just that would be just spec on the trims. Is what the trim zones call. You can. You want